And let's take a look at our Vera Orthopedics second half highlights. Frankie Fiddler, 27 points, eight boards. Did miss a couple of critical free throws in the second half, but the guy plays every minute of every game here in this tournament. Yeah, that's the thing. They relied on him so much. Heavy minutes and a lot on his shoulders. I did think he wore down in the second half, and the zone defense got him out of rhythm just enough. DeAndre Craig, boy, this freshman, has been a big-time difference maker. 15 points, five assists. He has shown no fear and played 38 minutes tonight on a huge stage and came up with big plays down the stretch. And Tommy Bruner started the game with three state straight threes, made a couple of clutch buckets, a couple of big free throws, 23 for him, playing at less than 100%. Yeah, that's the thing. He's not his normal self, but he is still contributing at such a high level. And his three-point shooting off the chart as he hit five triples in this game. There's a look at the final numbers. Both teams just shooting a shade over 38%. Again, the Mavericks settling for some threes. They could just not make enough of them in the second half. Just 2 of 11 from long range, despite out-rebounding Denver, plus 7. Well, I think the big thing is Denver forced Omaha's hand, right? They got them away from scoring in the paint, and that's really the ticket to beating Omaha. Again, the Mavs last night had 52 points there. Nowhere near that tonight, and credit Denver with their defense. And I thought, you know, another big key in this game was the play of Isaiah Carr. The seven-footer was the key to them defensively. Snatched 10 rebounds, and none bigger than that missed free throw at the end of the game. Yeah, Toko Tynemo really did not have much of an impact on this game. Just seven points, three of 11 from the floor. It was Carr that really was the difference maker on both ends, as the Pioneers are finding heroes here in March. And that is what it is all about.